now. Thank you so much for the love and the support yet again. I did promise you that at 10 past 8, I'll be having an artist here in studio. And I do have the artist here in studio. Our guest was here early on time. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming through. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. so happy to have you and I'm so glad that you made it through. And you made it through on time and you know, you know. It was. This is for on time. <laughs> on time. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like we gotta we see something. Like, no, you no, know, we struggle. No, it's not oh. even about you. I'm, it's just that I love it when we, this allows me time, more time to get to actually unpack mm -hmm. things with you that I wouldn't have if you had come late, you understand? Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. Who are we talking to? We're talking to Nata, the artist, right? Yeah. Real name. <laughs> I uh, just don't like people knowing their real yeah, names. Mm -hmm. they, people like they really don't like when people get to know their real names. But now I'm gonna tell you because I'm me. His real name is Tabang Mudiba, and <laughs> uh, he's a boy from Sashangube. Loves music, loves the arts. Take me through that. Uh, you know who are we talking to today? Yo, um, it's Nathan the artist. Um, I hail from Sashangube Block HH, mm -hmm. and then I'm a rapper vocalist and a producer and then yeah basically that's that I, mm -hmm. I don't know what more to add but like yeah yeah that's my intro i think okay so like um why it's over was like very well like they plan our life for the moment mama how are out there oh it's okay fine then when i coaching i primary from primary you go to high school from high school you go to varsity from varsity they expect us to go corporate world so when how did you convince your parents to about support the um in terms of a music career? Like uh I just did my thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Like um mom and, my mom is like super cool, mm -hmm. like super, super cool. And then yeah, sometimes she she like uh she doesn't get it, but like uh you know, a little bit of this and that, like going to gigs that mm -hmm. actually pay and going to, to like stuff and radio interviews and you know she's like oh okay there's something there and then because yeah we as i said i'm a producer we recorded my place and then there's there's like noise like a mm. uh, couple of people coming through like a lot of people and then like i i, I do bribe her sometimes <laughs> like to, 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 you know <laughs> to, to like keep the guys like chilled so we can work like she knows that this is my passion and and everything and then so yeah i'm thankful for that take me through the single ian visa which uh got a lot of attention from people yes for people is even an understatement dj maporisa yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 guys i know you know <laughs> and it got so much notice or so much traction that he ended up posting your song on his instagram story yeah how did you feel take yo, me through your emotions when you it saw was that sick yo really sick because like um uh the song features a, a another guy called joy joy Beku, and then the beat was made by kayla pitori shout out kayla and then quincy quincin quincin sorry and then so joy put it on in, on his instagram so and then it, funny enough, it wasn't only Maporisa who, who like, uh, reacted to the song. Mm -hmm. Like, Setril also, um, I remember Nia Pearl. Uh, who else? It was a couple of, couple of guys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was, it was cool, it was cool. Because I remember he, we live, like, next door to each other. So he came in the morning, like early in the morning, like jumping the the, the, the fence and like everything, saying, yo, Nathan, 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 come and see this dog. Like, and then he showed me and I was like, yo, dog, like at least something we're doing is like mm -hmm. getting attention and all that. We're not like doing this thing in the bedroom and then being like, ah, it ends here. So it was, it was cool. So yeah. Okay, so I see here um that you you've hosted two successful music events, the first annual Social Movie Spring Fiesta and Chilas. Yeah. So bar in your hometown, so I'm guessing the Chilas Yamo So yeah, so yeah. T take us through those events. Do you know some difficulties that you faced while preparing for these two events and how the events were? Yo, hey, yo, hosting an an event is not like. Uh... It's not an easy task. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's it's yo, it's massive. It's it's yo, it's tiring. Like 
a lot a lot a lot so we hosted our first um event the uh, spring fiesta uh it was an idea of a friend mm -hmm. uh wanting us to get our music out there to to like um our hood they should like know us better they do know us but like just to show them that we can go the extra mile and do that uh that thing mm -hmm. so yeah we went through with uh uh social spring fiesta we did it with uh because i'm i'm in a movement called the uh, ground group mm -hmm. so yeah with the guys um do my dj who is here today shout out to him um Mkafo, he was here the other time he came late and all that so that's why i'm thinking yeah you remember me from somewhere so yeah um nati mm -hmm. uh we had switch we had gift danger and then yeah we basically yo it was a lot of challenges like i remember not having enough cash to to like do the thing but like because we wanted it to be a success we we had to to find a way to to like do it so and then yeah we ended up doing it the the sound came out people came through we were the, the actual surprise was like people mm. really came through yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yo. all right i get where you're coming from but uh before we wrap it up uh, i will, will still be talking to you across the, you know the the entire hour of this is the last hour of the show actually but before we do that, I want us to play the song that you sent us, I Want That Too. Cool. Yeah, well, what, who did you work with on the song? And, you know, what inspired the song, you know? Yo, I Want That Too. I mean, the title kind of, kind of explains it. Like, I Want That Too. Because, like, I'm, I'm talking about the, the money. I want the money, of course. Mm -hmm. I want, not the fame, not the fame. I want the money. You want like, the bag. <laughs> yeah, I want the bag, bruh. Okay. So, and then, I talk a lot about my mom. Not not too much, but like a bit. Mm. And then, because she, she's my biggest inspiration, you know. Like, I, I want right. to do so good that I, I don't know, like, surprise her. Show her, yeah, okay, you thought this was going to be it. But like, yeah, I did it my way and then it's working. Mm. So, like, let me, let me try and, you know. Okay. So, yeah. And then the people I've worked with, like uh, Keilawa Pitori did the beat. Okay. I produced the song myself. Mm -hmm. And then Mkafo came through and put a verse also. All right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. Uh, I'm hoping. Then for the first time, right on TTFM is this one. It's uh, I Want That To You. Naked artist coming through to you. We still have him here in studio. So if you do want to call in, um, if you're an old friend, if you are an old classmate, whatever it is that you guys had, um, or you still share even now, you can call us in and get to talk to him. You know, wish him luck on his journey as an artist because you know how this industry can be. Let's play this one for you. It's I Want That Too. Naked artist on this one. 20 after 8. We'll be back, of course, at half past 8 to give you all things in the news, news headlines and, of course, sports for Bulletin. Good morning and thank you so much for joining in and allowing us to serve you yet again. Good morning.